Good morning, this is Gabriel Jack, and I welcome to BJC Mitzvah Day number 84, part 3. A mitzvah that keeps us on its way, the obligation regarding Shemit of the land. And using the Sefer Chinuch, here we go. Hin, the Chinuch offers another underlying purpose of the mitzvah. There is another benefit to be found in the matter of relinquishing ownership in the Shemitah year, which is to thereby acquire the trait of yielding, very important, a generous willingness to forego that which we see as our due. Performing this mitzvah is an ex exercise of this trait, for there is none so generous as one who gives without the anticipation of compensation, and one who generously yields the produce in Shemitah as per this mitzvah does so without anticipation of any worldly compensation. The Chinuch offers a third underlying purpose of this mitzvah. There is yet another benefit to be found in such a person who observes this mitzvah. This benefit is that the person will increase trust in Hashem, blessed is he. For anyone who can find in his heart the capacity to give and relinquish to the world all the produce of his land and his ancestral inheritance that grows throughout an entire year, and he and his family are accustomed to doing so all his days, the trait of miserliness will never take hold in such a person nor will he ever be seized by lack of trust. Rather, he will willingly give of his possessions to others and trust in Hashem to provide his needs. Wow. The Chinuch begins this discussion of the laws of the mitzvah with a list of agricultural activities that are forbidden in Shemitah, either biblically or rabbinically. The particulars of the laws of this mitzvah include, for example, defining which means of working the land are subject to this resting obligation under biblical law, such as planting, pruning, harvesting, and picking, and which means of working are forbidden by rabbinical law, such as fertilizing and digging, which are performed on the soil. Other rabbinically prohibited activities include work done to trees, such as cutting off growths, removing dried out leaves or branches from it, applying dust or fumigating underneath it to kill worms, smearing the saplings, putting ash on the roots, or supporting the trees. All these are prohibited rabbinically during Shemitah. The Chinuch proceeds to mention a number of agricultural activities that are per permitted during Shemitah. The laws of Shemitah include as well that which the sages permitted one to do for his plants, such as painting a tree with red paint and hoeing underneath grapevines, included as well as the law with regard to the work of an irrigated field. The Chinuch discusses the laws of stockpiling manure. The laws of Shemitah include as well that one may not make a manure heap in the field until the time of fertilizing has passed. And even after such time, the pile must be made large so that it not appear as though he is fertilizing. A manure pile is considered sufficiently large when its measurement is 150 seya of manure or greater. That's a different measurement. He says here, uh, approximately 44 to 76 cubic feet. Okay, depending on various opinions. All right, we'll continue with this beautiful mitzvah tomorrow. Thanks for listening to Sponsor Future Mitzvah, 36 of 100 of the gold. See you tomorrow.